What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and I figure it's finally time to update some of my most popular videos um, on how to speed up your computer using msconfig and other Windows services. Um, these videos get a lot of views, but I haven't made one in about three years, so I figured uh, even though the methods are very similar, it's time to update those videos to include any new um, UI changes. Uh, before we get started, I want to thank um, our channel supporters, Ms. Kick2 s and um rob leslie thank you so much for your support i really appreciate you if you want to become a channel member yourself and get a shout out in my videos um please click on the join button below and you'll get access to a bunch of great features including all my live streams um beyond that let's jump into the tutorial itself uh, what we want to do is go ahead and um go to your start menu and type in ms config ms config and you'll see system configuration. Now under system configuration, we're gonna be using selective startup. Um, normal startup loads basically everything. Diagnostic loads only um, required services, so we don't get a lot of the net stuff that we need for our network. And selective lets us actually choose what items we want to um, load. So in order to go through this to speed up your computer, I'm actually going to go through each tab and explain what each one does. In the boot menu, there isn't too much we need to actually edit here. It just so shows what our default OS is. If you only have one OS, there's nothing to change here. If you dual boot with Linux or something, you can actually choose um, which OS is the default and how long you have to choose between them. This also applies, uh, this timeout also applies to if you have a live CD in, or an installer CD um, inserted in your computer. This is how much time you have to choose that CD before it just continues loading the operating system. If you don't have any of that, um, it's okay to leave all of this as is. Um, if you go into services, this is all of the things running in the background of your computer. Even if you don't see anything running, these are, if it says started or running, it is running on your computer. So the way we can clean this up is first we want to click on hide all Microsoft services. This is important because we actually want to keep anything from Microsoft and the OS itself intact. We don't want to turn those off because you risk um, getting a blue screen or different system errors um, for not having those services running. However, once you do hide all Microsoft services, you can go through and turn off anything that's unnecessary. Um, so, for example, I don't know uh, why this um, DHCP server is here. I don't need my... Um, actually, I do want my LG Hub running. Um, I don't need OpenVPN running anymore because I'm not using that at the moment. And uh, let's see. I don't need Corel license validation because I'm not using that software at the moment. And see, I'm going to get my computer a little bit faster, too. Uh, but basically, you just go through this, find anything you're not specifically using. See, I'm not using these miners anymore. I haven't been in a while. And hit apply. And this is going to actually stop these services from running um, unless you specifically open them yourself, which you could still do. And then we're going to go to startup, and you'll see that this is actually moved um, into the task manager. So we'll go into that in a second. And then in tools, you can look up specific information about your computer. For example, clicking up system information um, and choosing launch will show you all the information about your computer. But we want to go to startup because this is actually going to affect our um, speed of the computer the most. So we click on that and task manager will open to the startup tab. Now what you want to do is sort by status and this will show which ones are enabled and which ones are disabled. If they're enabled, it means every time you start your computer, those apps are going to run at the same time. Um, you can always run these apps later, like for example, your phone, even though it doesn't start with my computer, I can always open it later and it will open from then on. Um, but I don't want a lot of apps opening as soon as I load up because that'll slow down my um, startup speed. So I actually disabled anything I didn't need except for the main programs I use here and that actually keeps it um my last bios time was 23 seconds which isn't super fast but it's not super slow either that's a pretty quick load um so yeah if you have any questions about this process please leave it in the comment section below i hope this video helped you out and thank you so much for watching peace what you've never heard of stream savers and you thought pewdiepie was the only youtuber to make a game 
I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.